Hello everyone, let's fly to Isla Catanduanes, Philippines. Population 2020 census 271,879. Dialect being spoken Pandan Biko or Northern Catanduanas Biko and Southern Catanduanas Biko. Main religion Roman Catholic. Provincial Capital Virac Town Join me in exploring further the beautiful province of Catanduanes, Philippines Catanduanes, officially the province of Catanduanes, in Filipino, Lalawigan ng Catanduanes, is an island province located in the Bicol region of Luzon in the Philippines. It is the 12th largest island in the Philippines and lies to the east of Camarinazor across the Makita Channel. Its capital is Virac. It had a population of 271,879 people as of 2020 census. The province comprises Catanduanes, mainland or main island, Panay Island, Leri Island, the Palumbanes group of islands, Rongpong, Tingov, and Calabayo, and a few other small surrounding islets and rocks. The province is also home to various mollusk fossil sites, notably the second oldest ammonite site in the Philippines. These sites have certain species of ammonites that are found nowhere else in Southeast Asia. Because of the province's importance and rich geological history, various scholars have suggested that if the province would take the initiative to pull its name forward in nomination, it would stand a good chance of being named as UNESCO to Park Reserve. In the early 1900s, Catanduanes was a sub-province of Ambus Camarines, and later it was a sub-province of Albay. It became autonomous province in 1945 with Congressman Francisco Perfecto filed House Bill No. 301, which separated the province from Albay, and the bill was approved on September 26, 1945, and signed into law by President Sergio Usmeña on October 24, 1945. Remio Susito, previously the lieutenant governor, was appointed the first provincial governor. When elections were held in 1947, Alfonso V. Ocero became the first elected governor. On April 15, 2022, President Rodrigo Duterte signed the Republic Act No. 11700 declaring Catanduanes province as the Philippines' Abaca capital. Catanduanes earliest recorded name was Isla de Cubos. This was the name given to it by Spanish conquistadores early in 1573, when they came upon several tribes on the island who were living in the Dutch huts, the tribal people called Cubos. Catanduanes comes from the words Tando, a native beetle, and Samdong, a native species of three, both were found throughout the island. People often referred to the island as Katanduan or Kasamdungan, meaning a place where the Tando and Samdung tree thrive in abundance. The pronunciation of this word by Spanish-speaking people led to the coining of the Spanishized version Katanduanes.
let's talk about early history. Rulers or datos from Borneo settled on the island of Panay. Their descendants then migrated throughout the archipelago and became the first settlers in Catanduanes. The island was raided more than once by the Moors who live on the island of Mindanao. As a result of these destructive raids, many records of the past were destroyed or lost. In 1573, Juan de Salcedo arrived in Catanduanes while hunting for pirates and conquered the natives. Three years later, a galleon expedition from Acapulco was shipwrecked near the island and the survivors were either killed or enslaved. This event is commemorated at the Batalai Church in Bato, a few kilometers outside the capital town of Iraq. The evangelization of the Catanduanes started 20 years later when the Spanish soldiers, after subjugating the Bico mainland, came back with Franciscan missionaries. The missionaries, armed with a cross and backed by the surge of conquistadors, evangelized the entire population, beginning with the southern tribes without meeting much resistance. From 1600 to 1857, the colonizer established nine local centers of government through the establishment of parishes Karamoran in 1601, Pandan in 1650, Viga in 1661, Panganiban in 1663, Virak in 1775, Bato in 1830 and San Andres in 1853. American Invasion Era During the period of American rule, Bagamanok, which had been a thriving municipality during the Spanish period, was reduced to a mere barrio of Viga and later of Banganiban. During the American regime, some locals refused to recognize the sovereignty of the United States and most of them fled to the mountains. The American occupation did not last long. By 1934, the Americans had withdrawn from control of the island. Japanese Occupation Era During World War II, Katanduanes was not spared from Japanese invasion. The Japanese erected garrisons in different parts of the island and heavily fortified it. Three months after the Philippine independence from the Americans, Katanduanes was finally recognized as a separate and independent province from Albay through Commonwealth Act No. 687 authored by then-representative Francisco Perfecto. The independence was approved by Congress on September 26, 1945, signed into law by President Sergio Osmeña Sr. on October 24, 1945, and took effect on October 26, 1945. Catanduanes became the sixth province of the Bicol region with the signing of the Act Romeo Sosido, Catanduanes' last lieutenant governor, was appointed as the first provincial governor. When elections were held in 1947, Alfonso V. Ozero became the first elected governor. On September 26, 1945, Catanduanes was recognized as a separate and independent province by Republic Act No. 159, dated June 26, 1947, the municipality of Carmoran was recreated out of the municipality of Pandan under Republic Act No. 491, dated June 12, 1950. The municipality of Bagamanok was also created. Higmoto formally became a municipality again in 1951, as did San Miguel in 1952. Also in the early 1950s, another center of government Baras was created. It was during this period that the island saw economic development and growth. Interlinking roads were built and trading centers were created. Please stay tuned. Please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Just one favor to us, please. If you are watching this one, please do not skip the advertisements. Please finish them and it's a big help uh, to the channel thank you 
let's talk about geography. Catanduanes is situated on the easternmost edge of Luzon, 13.3 to 14.1 degrees north latitudes and between 124.1 and 124.3 degrees east longitudes. The island bounded on the west by the Makeda Channel, on the south by Laguna Gulf, and on the north and east by the Philippine Sea. Several small islands comprise the province. You are looking at the Bato River. Very nice, right? Katanduanas aggregate land area totals approximately 1,492.16 square kilometers or 576.13 square miles. The coastlines that stretch to almost 400 kilometers or 249 miles are jacked with many bays. The topography of Katanduanas Island is rugged and mountainous, becoming more pronounced towards the central portion of the island. Less than 10% of the land area has a slope gradient under 8%, mostly fractured and narrow strips of plains located along the coastal areas where most of the inhabitants are settled. The highest mountain peak is in Buktot, located between the municipalities of Virac and San Miguel, with an elevation of 803 meters or 2,635 feet above sea level. It is the premier mountain range with broadly spread old growth forest and the watershed which exerts widespread influence over its immediate environs that included or include the municipalities of Virac, Bato, and San Miguel. Other prominent mountain forms include the ranges Obi and Carmoran, Cagmasoso and San Andres, and the Summit and Magsumuso ranges within the Biga and Higmoto areas. The lowlands include the Virac Plain, Biga Plain, San Andres Plain, and Bato River Flood Plain. The coastal municipalities with limited lowland agricultural areas are Pandan and Carmoran. The more extensive lowlands are found in the southern parts of the province. The largest coastal plain in the contiguous wetlands of Viga, Panganiban and Bagamanok over which lies the widest area of rice paddies and nipa mangroves. The province is mostly rugged and mountainous terrain. Its slope characteristics are 13% gently sloping to undulating, 1% classified rolling to hilly, 2% very hilly in mountains, 47% level to very gently sloping, 32% slip hills and mountainous, and 5% undulating to rolling. 10 of the 11 municipalities of the province is situated along the coastal fringes over which locate its mostly fractured plains. The only landlock municipality is San Miguel with its poblacion or town center sitting in a location entirely devoid of flatlands. The majority of the built-up areas occupy zones that are classified as flat to rolling. The island is a biodiversity hotspot. Its rainforests are home to the Philippine brown deer, flying foxes, and other endemic bat species, water pigs, civets, cobras, giant pythons, monitor lizards, shellfin lizards, and other endemic animals. Exotic bird species such as Philippine hornbill, rail, parrot, bittern, egret, pisan, coot, lapwain, plover, Philippine duck, quail, owl, or yule, kingfisher, and many more are also found. A record of Philippines birding trip reports has found out massive bird species in several parts of the island, such as the watershed and timberland forest reserve in Higmoto, where scattered deer populations are also usually reported. Let's talk about the weather. Without a pronounced dry season, precipitation is distributed fairly well throughout the year becoming winter in the last quarter into the early months of the first quarter. Then tropical disturbances and monsoon winds, especially the northeast monsoon or amihan, bring in heavy rains.
Other months are characterized by short periods of drier days and fine weather, except in July and August when the dry and gusty southwest monsoon, monsoon winds intensify. You are looking at the beautiful Virac Boulevard. Well, Catanduana's geographical position has it lying completely exposed to the Philippine Sea. Therefore, it is known as the land of the howling winds because it is frequently visited by tropical cyclones. If you are from Catanduanes, what do you remember about this place, this boulevard? Tell me, come on. Do you know that there are two variants of the Bicol languages native to this island province? Northern Catanduanes Bicolano and Southern Catanduanes Bicolano. The northern accent has a very pronounced letter R that becomes a deep tongue of non vowel letters L and R in the southern towns. In written form, the conventional mainland language like Central Bicol is used. Filipino, by virtue of being officially taught in schools in the affinity of most Bicolanos to it, is the second most common language and easily the most understood by most people. English is the normal medium used in primary communication. The use of the Spanish language as a local language seems to have vanished after the turn of the early 21st century. Catanduanes government Catanduanes was historically a part of the province of Albay. On October 26, 1945, it was separated from Albay and was declared an island province through Commonwealth Act No. 687. When the island was still in the transition to becoming a full-fledged province, it was headed by Lieutenant Governor Felipe Olesco Ocero. Gubernatorial elections for Catanduanes started in 1948. The People Power Revolution in February 1986 ushered a new leadership. Former Ambassador Leandro Ivers Silas Sr. was appointed governor of the province. In 1988, Governor Leandro Ivers Silas Sr. ran for governor and won the election. His term ended in 1992 when lost to the governor Rosalie A. Stasio. After Governor Stasio, Governor Severo C. Alcantara became the governor of the province in 1995. Governor Alcantara did not run for election due to failing health in 1998. Governor Hector E. Sanchez won the election. Governor Sanchez ran for re-election but lost for Governor Leandro V. Barcelos Jr. who became governor for two successive terms. In the 2007 elections, Governor Barcelos ran again for this third and last term for governor but lost to Governor Joseph C. Koa, who became governor from 2007 to 2013 for two successive terms, but lost to Governor Arazilu B. Wong in the May 2013 election. In the May 2016 election, Governor Sili Wong's son, Jardine Brian Wong, lost to Governor Joseph Koa in the re-election bid as governor of the province. Let's talk about the industry. The five major income sources of Catanduanes are the services, agriculture, and fishing, tourism, housing, and manufacturing industries. Okay guys, how are you doing so far? I just hope you're enjoying the tour. Please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and please do not skip all the advertisements. Thank you so much. Let's talk about tourism. The tourism industry in the province is growing rapidly, despite the fact that the island experiences almost year-round typhoons, labeling the province as the typhoon capital of the Philippines with a tagline, the land of the howling winds. Catanduanes is known for its beaches, prehistoric caves, quaint stone chapels, and massive churches. Despite the typhoons, safe anchorage is provided by its many bays and coves, notably Kalapalan, Pigmoto, Subok, 
and Kabugo. The province features beaches with fine sand and coral formations and several caves which include the Luyang Cave. The Pagasu Water Radar Station offers panoramic views of the environs while the Museo de Catanduanes has a fine collection of artifacts. The ideal time of the year to visit Catanduanes is from the months of March to August when the water turns dry. It is coolest and rainiest from October to the early part of January, hottest from March to May. The tourism industry in Catanduanes continues to receive a positive response from foreign and domestic travelers, with the Provincial Tourism Office recording an increase in tourist arrivals by 15.89% in 2014 compared to the previous year. Based on the comparative data of travelers, 151,550 foreign and domestic tourists visited the island last year or about 21,000 greater than the 2013 arrivals of only 13766 visitors. The question is, how do you get to Catanduanes? Well, almost all major international carriers make stops at Nino Aquino International Airport or the Neia in Manila. If you're coming from outside the Philippines, you can fly straight to Manila, then take a connecting flight to either Legaspi Airport in Albay or straight to Virac Airport in Catanduanes. Virac Airport is the only airport that operates for Catanduanes province. It handles for domestic and international flights, including Philippine Airlines, Emirates, and Cebu Pacific. You are looking at St. John the Baptist Catholic Church, located in Poblacion Bato, near the Bato River. It is the only remaining structure of its kind in the entire island. The church is of interest and not only as mid-colonization philippine Spanish architecture, but as a historical landmark. It was built under the polo system of forced labor for a total of 53 years under six different Paris administrators. Started in 1830 and finished in 1883, but the church has withstood wars, calamities, and ravages of time. This is LDU Bado Katango Wanas. Look at that. Very nice.
Please walk your way to the town proper. Go back to the town once. Now we are at uh, Bottom Maternity Children's Hospital, one of the hospitals in the province of the Tanduanes. Right, just look at this. This is the St. John the Baptist Catholic Church in Bato Tanduanes. And look at the right, uh, beautiful, right? <laughs> Didn't want to say. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Very impressive. Look at So pretty. You wanna swing? This is one of the towns that uh, you would wish to visit in the Tanduwanes Philippines. Bigat Town. We're back to Battle Church, right? This is really fantastic. Look at the interior. If you are going to pray in a place such as this, my goodness. I can tell you, God is always with you, right?
were looking at uh, Bagumbayan Elementary School, one of the barangays in uh, Bato. This is the Pagaza Vera Quara Station located in Buena Vista, Bato Catanduanes. I'm just wondering why it's named Pagaza Vera when in the place is Buena Vista, Bato Catanduanes. <laughs> I don't know. Stay tuned and do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Feel your 
walk alone I miss you so Girl, I would like to know If you find somebody new Tell me how much has it blown I try to drink you, girl, away This is Puraran Beach Resort in Varas Katanduanes or Puraran Majestic Wave Beach, one of the top surfing destinations in the Philippines today. It is home to the majestic wave that top surfers from all over the world visit during the surfing season, July to October. Who is that model over there? <laughs> There's another one there. By the way, I'd like to thank our official digigoppers of this blog. We have Dimbos, Tintin, Shan, and Chan O. Thank you so much guys for this very very impressive job that you gave me. Oh, let me correct myself. It's not Shan, it's Sun. Thank you so much.
one of the many tourist attractions in Catanduanes is the Luyang Cave, located in San Andres, Catanduanes. Catanduanes has many tourist attractions like Puraran Majestic Wave Beats, the Binorum Point, the St. John the Baptist Catholic Church, the Holy Cross of Batalai Shrine, Our Lady of Sorrows Shrine located in Batum Kaluai San Andres, and San Miguel River Park, and many more. We also have the Aminia Beach Resort located in Palawig San Andres, Balite Beach Resort located in Baliti Virac, Cat Spring Resort, located in Sagrada Viga, Hio Point, Hio Pandan, Loran Rines, Panay Island, Pagamanok, Luyang Cave Park, Lictin San Andres, Maribene Falls, Marinawa, Pinanuan, Bato Catanduanes, Museo de Catanduanes, Santa Elena Virac, Mulugan Falls, San Pedro Higmoto, then the Pagasa Weather Radar, Weather Radar Station, Vista Battle, Palumbanis Group of Islands, Palumbanis Paramoran, Subuku, Subuk Pige, Twin Rock Beach Resort in Igan, Piracatan Duanes. There is also the Katandungan, Katandungan Festival, which is an annual celebration of the island province. It is the anniversary celebration and tribute to its founders. To commemorate the province's independence from Albay, the main features of the festival are street dancing, pantomina dance, beauty pageant, agro trade fair, sports fest, guided tour, surfing club, and art photo exhibits. It occurs every October 24 to 26. Well, 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 I hope you know, one of these days you'll be visiting the beautiful island of Catanduanes, located in the Philippines. There is also another festival called Abaca Festival, which is an annual cultural celebration of the province to recognize the importance of Abaca in the local economy and to showcase its versatility as a major source of livelihood. Highlights of the festival are Pada Jau Ginamlangan or Pada Jau Kan Abaca Pinukpuk Fashion Show. Over Katandungan Sports Competitions, Kantang Katandungan or Musika Kan Isla, Festival Dance Competition, Binibini in Kinoong Bicol, Hagyan Sakabitu Onan, and uh, Jobs Fair. It occurs every fourth week of May. There are also called Folk Festivals. The Folk Festivals, celebrated as part of the local religious rituals, are with unique traces of the Spanish colonization. Among these festivals include Burak Burak Festival, which is a Baraknan celebration in honor of their patroness Nuestra Senora de Immaculada Concepcion. We also have the Dinahet Festival, which is a prime festival in the municipality of Bandan, celebrated every April. There is also Manok Manok Festival, held annually as Town Fiesta every club or to 13 June, a celebration of Pagamanoknon character, culture, and way of life centered of the peculiarities of Manok or Chicken, the very word from where the name of municipality was taken. Uh, we have also the Sogbo Festival, celebrated by the seven barangays of Ituma and Karamoran that produces Sogbo or tiger grass. We have also the Badas Festival, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Badas Festival happened every year 10th August. The festival captures the heroic character of the people of Barats, the Tanduanes. There is also the Abacaco Festival, it's an annual celebration in the 10th of June. It is about the nature's beauty and agriculture abundance of the municipality. 
of a cane or became a prime industry. The cacao gave sweetness to the family's dining table. We also have uh, Imasihag or what's this? Umasihag Festival in Igmutu Town, festival of merry making and Thanksgiving. Happened every 14th to 15th of the month of May. There is also the Kennis Festival, the club's capital festival, the town of Panganiba, Panganiban, which is considered as Katanduana's club festival for its 218.4 hectares of Fispan. Let's talk about education. Virak, the capital town, is the educational center in the province, hosting a number of schools specializing in various degrees. The most notable include the Katanduana State University. We're nearly done, guys. Remember, this is only part one of our Black in Katanduana, Philippines. We still have part two, of course. So please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Just look at the food. So yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. See foods and everything. It's been served over there. And now we're done. Please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And remember, please watch every advertisement that we have here. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching.